right, so this is just a fun special activity for fall. Um, and it's a little different, it's more than just a drawing, it's a drawing that can move and change. Let me show you what I mean. All right, so um, I'm gonna show you how we can make drawings that can become something a little different when you move it and that all comes down to how we treat the paper and how we fold it. So you can do um, a jack-o-lantern like I did or you can change this um, and come up with your own idea and be a little more creative. So let me show you how this works. You are going to start with the paper okay, and you are going to fold it in half like a hamburger or like a book. Okay, so. I take the paper and I put two ends together like this. This is how you want it. You do not want it long and skinny like that. So, like a book or like a hamburger, fold the paper in half. I'm gonna try and meet those corners up the best you can. If it's not perfect like mine, that's okay. Right? Mine doesn't meet totally perfect. All right, once we have it like a book, so you see how it's like that, I'm then going to take, make sure you can see, I'm then going to take one of the edges, one side. Okay, so I have, this is my folded edge, this is my open edge with the two open ends. I'm gonna take just one of them and I'm gonna bring it back, fold it backwards to the folded edge. Let me show you again. Here's my book, my paper folded in half. This is the open end. I just bring one of the papers up, not both, just one, and fold it back so that it meets that folded edge. And I crease that, okay? So, if you look at it from up here, it's doing that kind of zigzag, okay? And this is gonna give me my motion to open and close my drawing, all right? So you have just this one end hanging down here, this end is my folded edge and the other edge. All right, and then I wanna be sure that I put this kind of folded side up at the top and just the one plain sheet down at the bottom. All right, and then we can start doing our drawing. Again, if you have an idea other than a jack-o-lantern, go for it. I'm gonna step through drawing this little jack-o-lantern guy. I'm gonna use um, a sharpie so that you can see it better, but definitely draw with a pen to start. Or I mean with a pencil to start. Alrighty, um, so to do this, keep your paper folded. Um, when I draw pumpkins, I kind of do a stem at the top. And then I always kind of end, have this kind of part of my stem coming out. There's no perfect way to do that. It's nature, they're all a little different. All right, and then this is really just like one big oval. So I'm gonna start up here, coming down. Notice I went right over that fold line and just keep coming down to draw my picture. Usually do a little indent at the bottom. Come over to the other side. Something like that. And then I love to give little swirlies for the vines. Just something fun. Put a little leaf here and there. Okay. So, now that I have that done, I need to think about my face. Now this is important because um, it is going to open up. And so you wanna be sure you have the eyes and the nose above your fold line and then the bottom of your mouth below. So you need the eyes, the nose, kind of the top of the mouth above and the bottom of the mouth below. So, hmm, let's see, I wanna do this one a little different. All right, so we got the eyes and the nose. And then what do I wanna do for the mouth? I think I'm gonna kind of keep with the circle theme. Something like that, okay? So I got things above my fold and then this below. 
So now, actually one more thing. I like to do the lines of the pumpkin. Okay, now I'm going to open him up. And you'll notice, we're missing half of him. So we have to draw the middle part. So um, I want you to start by connecting your pumpkin line. So don't worry about the face just yet. Connect, you're just gonna draw some straight lines down to connect your top and bottom. These are the lines going through the pumpkin. Okay, and then I have this mouth here. So I think I'm just going to connect these two, maybe a little of a curve. Okay, and then he just has one big open mouth. I think I'm gonna give him funny teeth. So I was keeping in mind that I don't want to draw above the fold line, okay? Because if I were to do that when it's closed, I would see it, all right? So I can kind of check, I can fold it back up, make sure it's okay, bring it out like this. All right, maybe I'll just do, oh. So again, I need to make sure. So I think I'm gonna make that. There we go, okay. So now that's what he looks like when he's open. All right, so when you go to color, you're gonna want to fold it back up and color it like this. Just like how we drew it like this, you're gonna wanna color it first like this, okay? And then when, you op and then when you're done, you're gonna open it up and you're gonna fill in the part in the middle that's not colored. All right, I'm gonna speed the video up while I work on my coloring. <laughs> 